Ngayon, uh, Kuya Mark, since napag-uusapan natin ang, um, ang jurisdiction, ngayon sino naman ang pwedeng mag-file ng writ of amparo? Ang pwedeng mag-file ng writ of amparo, number one, the aggrieved party. If you are aggrieved, your, there's threat to your life, there's threat to your liberty, there's threat to your security. Yes, you can file a writ of amparo. Assuming hindi ka makaka-file kasi nawala ka, bigla ka nang nawala. May mga nawala ka, extrajudicial killing, mga ganun, nawala, bigla ka nawala. So ano gagawin mo? Yan, pwede mag-file any member, any immediate member of your, uh, any member of your immediate family. Like for example, anak mo, uh, asawa mo, parents mo, immediate member of your family. You know, first, may order, may order. Kung wala yung immediate member of the family, pwede yung ascendants, yung mga apo mo, lolo mo, or descendants, or any collateral relatives up to fourth civil degree. Meaning mga pinsan mo. Pwede mag-file ng writ of amparo. Assuming wala din sila, kasi biglang nawala. Any concerned citizen or organizations pwede mag-file ng writ of amparo. So, yun ang order. Number one, ang pwede mag-file talaga is the aggrieved party, yung biktima. Pag wala yung biktima, pwede yung immediate member of the family yung, or the or the ascendant, descendants, o kapinsan, or any concerned organizations or associations pwede mag-file. Oh, 